Hello my friends and fellow guitarists and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to play Stitches by Sean Mendes. Well specifically we're going to be looking at how to play the beginning of Stitches. So let's get stuck in. piece I really get into the flow state with these with these off beats that just kind of keep going and going and going and going and going and don't ever stop um, and I've actually done an arrangement of this so if you haven't checked that out already go and have a look at the other video as well after you've watched this one um, arrangement for two guitars so go and enjoy that right so today we're only actually going to be needing four chords or four shapes as it were um, and we're going to learn the bass notes first because that's just the easiest way to think about it the first one is A, which is the fifth string, just an open fifth string. And then we're going to play G, which is the third fret on the sixth string, but with our first finger, because we're going to be using the other fingers afterwards. So that is first A, then G. Next one, we're going to jump up a string to C, which is the third fret on the fifth string. And then we're going to jump across to the sixth string and the first fret, that is F. So there are four bass notes. And let's just do that once, like hold them for four beats, because that's what we're going to be doing afterwards as well. So, so it's one, two, three, four. So there are our basic bass notes that we're going to be using. After that, it's going to get slightly more interesting with the other fingers. We're going to be playing two strings together. And this is, the way we're doing it is definitely a finger picking thing. It's going to be very, very difficult to play with a pick. So uh, if you've never tried that before, just, just, just put your pick down on the side. You'll be all right, don't worry, you'll survive. Put the third and fourth fingers on the fifth fret of the third and second string. So, so the fifth fret on the third string is the third finger, and the fifth fret on the second string is the fourth finger. Oh, that is a tongue twister. And then we're going to play the A again, and then these two strings together, the second and third string. So, so that's the first shape that we've got. And that gives us an A minor chord. The next one is the G in the bass. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide back with this third finger across one fret and then place our second finger on the third fret on the second string. So that'll give us a G chord. And it's really, really good if you can manage it to slide the third finger up and down so you just stay on the string and you know exactly where you are then. So let's do that again. A. G. The next one is C. So we'll go to the C in the bass with the first finger, and then these fingers are going to be the same as the A minor chord that we had before. So it's the third finger on the third string, fifth fret, and the fourth finger on the second string, fifth fret. So let's just do that once again. A. G, C, and then the last one we're going to be sliding down with this third finger again to the second fret. You already know the bass note, that's on the first fret on the sixth string, and then this second finger is going on the first fret, so it's actually the same as the G, just one fret down. So that's F then. So if we put those together, we have the A minor, G, C, and then F. And what you can do to practice these is play the bass note and then three of the upper notes. So we have a four, four beats in the bar. So we go one, You might have 
noticed a bit of a sliding sound there on the third string. Sometimes it's not very good, but I don't know, I quite like it in this accompaniment. I think it sounds quite good. But that's obviously a personal choice. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that sliding sound, if you like it or not. You can obviously just take it out by lifting the finger, sliding down, putting it back on again. I don't know, I quite like it. Right, so now we're getting to the juicy part. How are we actually gonna play it like Shawn Mendes does? So instead of doing the one, two, three, four, we're gonna be playing the upper notes as off beats. Off beats are basically notes that are not on the beat. That's the basic premise. You can practice off beats by doing on the beat, off the beat. One, a basic masterclass in offbeats. So we're going to do the bass and then we're going to do offbeat. So every and one and two and three and four 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 and what is very very helpful is if you have Either use your foot on the beat and then play the off beats with the strings like that. Or you even have someone standing next to you hitting you on the shoulder going one, two, three, four. And you just do not play on the hit. You play on when, they, when they've let go. If you're by yourself, maybe it's better to do it with your foot. <laughs> so let's try that again. And really try with your foot to do every, every beat and then the off beats on the other strings. So. That's it, obviously, like everything, play it slowly, many, many times until you get it, and then you can always speed it up. I've actually done another video of an arrangement that I did of this piece for two guitars, so if you haven't checked that out yet, then go and have a look at that. It's great fun, you can even dance along. And as always, keep practicing, do it nice and slowly, have fun with your playing. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, then uh, do that right away, bam, it really helped the channel, it really helped the channel grow, thanks so much for that and I wish you a lovely, lovely day. Take care, bye bye.